in this video we're going to talk about water seven bounties so again there's ten bounties in each area they're found located at the bar so if you go to the bar you should have some starting ones to start off with you beat them but as soon as you accept them on the board they'll locate on the map once you go to the map find them kill them basically they'll be scattered in different areas on the map so it won't all just be in one area just have a look out for them the, the most awkward ones probably in the sewer um, towards the end of the sewer bit there's two of them in there I think uh, on the sort of bottom floor so they're probably the hardest to find but again not too difficult at all to find um, in terms of leveling up and stuff you've got plenty of ways to level up in this game get your armor mixed as previously mentioned in the other videos to upgrade your armor search all the areas in the treasure chests increase uh, sorry beat the side stories beat the bounties beat the main story and you'll get a load of items in general which are really useful put chopper as the main defensive character as the healer Luffy you want to upgrade with his attack Zoro you want to upgrade his attack everyone else sort of an afterthought but as long as you make those characters pretty beasty you should have no issues with this game at all uh, if you're struggling on any particular part in general let me know and I'll uh, happily advise you on what you need to be doing or how to get better but uh, in general this game is relatively easy so you should not have too much trouble because it gives you so many options, gives you so many skills, gives you just everything you'll need in terms of tools to beat the game. So that's pretty much it um, in terms of bounties. As I said, there's 30 bounties. The Water 7 ones, you'll beat all 10 of them. And then you go to Dress Rosa, and Dress Rosa has another 10. Uh, and a little twist at the end for you, which is nice. But yeah, I mean, if, if you need any specific help, drop me a comment. I will happily help. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe. Usual jazz. Uh, go into a little bit more depth on the first Alabaster video on what you can do to improve your characters and stuff. Searching, doing side quests, all that jazz. But yeah, there's, there's not much more to say really about these. The, the bounties themselves are generally quite easy, as you can see, as soon as you have Conqueror's Hacky. If you do this at the end of the game, you'll just absolutely obliterate everyone pretty quickly. We shouldn't have too many issues. If you're doing them as you're going through the game, it might be a lot harder. So I'd recommend just leaving them till the end. You don't need them for EXP because they're not very good with EXP. Um, th there's no real reason to do them at the time. As far as I'm aware, unless you're wanting money, but even then you'd get pretty much no money from doing it, so it's not that useful. So leave them to the end. Hunt them down at the end when you can fast travel to everywhere, as long as you've unlocked your fast travel points. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty simplistic. Not much more to say. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care. Peace out. Usual jazz. Let me know if you've got any issues in the comments. Peace. Fuck!